Hi guys, good evening and welcome to this stream. Um, yeah, I hadn't really planned to be doing any streaming tonight, but uh, while I was eating dinner, I suddenly saw, well, maybe we should first do a sound check. Maybe if you guys can let me know if you can hear me. I know it usually takes a while before uh, uh, what I'm recording is at you, usually somewhere between 10 and 20 seconds. So I'll have some patience and watch the chat here to see whether the sound is all okay. Let me know if that's all working. Kind of vital for a stream, right? To have some sound. Greetings from Jay Stribling. Can hear you well. Well, that's great to know. Yeah, I saw uh, Nelson Pinto was there quite a few minutes ago already. Um, Vorname, Nachname from Germany, which is basically first name, last name in English. Welcome as well. I think there's about 13 people watching at the moment. Great. Beambox Laser Concepts, welcome. Thank you as well for uh, giving that feedback. And Nelson is still there as well. All right, well. I was just, um, yeah, like I was just saying when I started, um, I was having dinner tonight and then I saw a very, very interesting YouTube video pop up from this guy. Let's have a look. This is uh, a YouTube channel called Theoretically Media. I'm not a subscriber as you can see, but uh, earlier this week I already saw a different video from him about apparently a new AI music generator called Udio. Um, I had never heard about it, but there were, when I Googled for it, there were quite a few rumors going around already that it was great, much better than Suno uh, AI, which I've made, uh, which I did a live stream about, and which I also uh, did a video about, and I did a live stream about Suno AI. Maybe you've seen it. My last live stream was actually uh, together with you guys. Uh, on the live stream, um, generate some songs from Suno a on Suno AI, and uh, yeah, that that went quite well. So since there's now a new music generation website site called Udio, I'm very curious how it works. Whether it's really as great as everybody is saying, at least that it is rumored. Um, and it was released today. Um, so it was published today, the website, it's available now for everybody. Uh, apparently it was a kind of a closed test earlier on where only where you could try it out by invite. Um, but right now it's available for everybody. Um, it's in beta still and during that beta period it's free. So make sure that um, if you want to try out this stuff, get an account soon, I would say, because it's probably going to be pretty busy. Um, on such a new site. I know Suno AI is also quite popular. They had some server problems along the way where sometimes you weren't able to generate uh, any music unless you were actually a subscriber. Um, so um, it's, I will expect it will probably go the same way with this new uh, site, especially since all functionality is currently available for free. You can generate 1200 songs a month, I think it was, I, if I understood correctly. Uh, well, that's that's very generous, of course. So um, yeah, if you're interested in this stuff, by all means, get an account, try it out. I think you can log in with um, a couple of um, um, other identity providers. I think it's called. Uh, I logged in via my Google account. I think you can also log in via X and one other, which I can't remember. But uh, it was very easy. Get your account set up, log in. Uh, authenticated by Google in my case, and, and I was in. So maybe let's have a look. So Udo, Udio is on this other tab and it looks, yeah, a bit similar to Suno. Let me just actually bring up Suno as well here. Am I currently logged in? I guess I'm not. Sign in. Let's 
So this is me uh, logged into Suno. If you compare it, it has a bit of the same dark style menu on the left. But we're mainly here to check out Udio. So let's actually do that. Um, let's look at some of your comments as well. Actually, I see um, Corian tried it out already. It's crazy. Great. I haven't, well, I've generated two songs. Uh, well, I generated two fragments of songs uh, for now, just in preparation of this video. I haven't checked it out very much in depth um, at all. So I'm going to explore it together with you, actually. Um, so uh, let's see what it can do. Um, yeah, I guess these are some staff picks, which are, let's maybe just listen to this staff pick. What does it sound like? Okay, that's an instrumental. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I, I just saw this title here, Neon Pulse. Uh, also, I don't know when, when you're used to uh, when you have tried Suno before. Let me clear this comment here. Um, when you've tried Suno before and you let it generate lyrics, or even when you generate lyrics um, via ChatGPT or some other AI uh, site, if you say generate me uh, generate me some song lyrics, lots of times there are words like. Nino, Neon and, and City and, and a, a lot of very typical words are in there and uh, I see that pop up over here again as well which I think is quite funny. Let me see if we can find something in another style. Um, maybe over here, top categories. Oh, okay, over here we have some various styles. Let's look at pop category. Dance, pop, blossom, serenade. Yeah, there's no actual ratings or anything like that. I guess this is just a playlist by Connor, probably. Okay. Okay, over here we have some. Ah, over here we get to the. I guess these are the picks. Video song. These are the picks from the staff still in a certain genre. As you can see, not a lot of plays yet. Definitely not as many as you see uh, when you explore Suno. Rave the Grey. Okay, quite interesting. A voice like that I haven't heard on Suno yet. Um, this sounds a bit, um, it sounds a bit, uh, yeah, uh, British killers, um, which is not British, of course, but um, in, in that kind of voice style. Alternative. Let me see what else. Top tracks. This looks like a country song.
No, no, it's not solved. Now we have sound. Yes, yes. Sorry, I still had my uh, I still had my microphone muted from the when I was playing back the song, but I guess I forgot to unmute it. What I was saying, I don't know how far you got it, but uh, yeah, uh, w from when you didn't hear my voice anymore. But what I was saying is that. Um, I'm just looking at some comments here. What I was saying is that so far I found uh, these few examples, which I listened to, much more characteristic. So the country song really sounded like a country person. And one of these alternative songs really had a sort of very characteristic alternative voice to me. Uh, a bit more than uh, I'm used to on Suno. I could still hear, hear uh, AI artifacts, like you hear that high whistling uh, noise. But um, so far, pretty good. Um, and the user interface seems to be kind of the same experience as Suno. So I was just going to try it. Hopefully you can hear me again now. And um, let's continue with the demo and well, my exploration of this website as well. Um, I guess we can go to create over here. After typing, ah, okay, if I click on it, I get the an expanded view. Um, write a song like the 1975. Let's immediately try that artist reference about a great summer's day. Um, I guess I can add tags, but maybe the reference to the band should give a clue. So let's first try it like this, see what happens. Creating your tracks, amazing music is seconds away. Let's see what happens. Yeah, for Suno you sometimes also have to wait a bit which is the same over here. I see that it also generates two tracks at the same time, which is nice. Then you immediately have two attempts. So you don't have to regenerate again and again. So if any of you guys have uh, tried this already, I see, oh, I can't, definitely can't say your name because I can't read that alphabet, but uh, I think you've tried it and you like it. Goran, take some time. Lots of traffic. Yes, I'm noting. Yeah, I, I guess it went live somewhere today um, because the video uh, that I showed you was actually from somebody who I think had gotten a kind of a preview of it and was not allowed to talk about it because he was under an NDA. And I think he released this video about five, six hours ago. So um, I think they probably released it somewhere today. But if you guys know more, let me know in the chat. Um, I see that it's still generating at the moment. So we really have to be a little bit more patient. Uh, I think Suno at this moment uh, does it a bit uh, quicker, but obviously they have probably have scaled up their servers to the demand. I noticed several times on Suno as well that um, yeah, they were only generating when you, had, when you were a paying customer. Um, and they skipped uh, and they disabled the free plan for a while because uh, their servers were too busy. It's very popular technology at the moment. Um, still generating. So maybe at the same time we can listen to a couple of the examples. Let's try to do that. As you can see, songs are still generating. Let's see if we can. Yeah, it would be nice if you could somehow see a bit of the style in the description over here. I guess with, the, well, let, let's try these trending ones then. There is a bit of a style, disco funk, let's see. Guess we need some kind of introduction. Oh yeah, all right. Here, one, two, three, hit it. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, it was nice that it was kind of starting with a spoken intro. No vocals though. Let's see if we can just scroll. There's the vocals. Let's see if we can fast forward. Okay, well, this sounds pretty good. Um, it's not a lot of variation, but maybe that's just in that style. Let's see if there's some other nice things here trending. Uh, Allegro, this is more like a classical track, I guess. Let's see what that sounds like. Oh, great. I forgot to unmute my mic again. Uh, yeah, what um, Jay Swabling was saying, a couple more years and you won't be able to tell if it's live or if it's Memorex. So um, yeah, uh, I agree. It's it's very impressive what um, Sunaw AI, uh, how far it has come in a very short time. I uh, remember hearing some examples from about half a year ago when it was just a Discord server. Um, and where they are now and when I generate tracks, it, it, it's really a world of difference and uh, very much better and you can still hear it, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great promise for the future or if you hate this, um, um, yeah, then it might not be a great promise for the future, but you really can't stop this anymore. Uh, it's happening and yeah, for me at least, I think I just want to be able to know how to use this in my home studio to generate tracks, which I can then reproduce, which I'm actually doing with one of the tracks that Suno uh, produced for me. But um, yeah, it's it, it, it's a very interesting times and things will definitely change because of this, I think. Then again, at the same time, um, yeah, we've had drum machines, we've had VSTIs of uh, other instruments like guitars and uh, 
loops and uh, all of that hasn't really eradicated uh, the real musician playing drums or guitars or, uh, or saxophone or whatever instrument. So I hope it will be the same here. And uh, let's, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and that it will just, uh, hopefully we can use it for the better and uh, make better songs, make better productions and uh, inspire us um, for now. That's the way I'm trying to use it. I'm trying to use it as an idea generator uh, for songs, which I can then finish by myself or maybe uh, even at some point with my band or uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. It's, it's, a, new, uh, it, it, it's a new area, definitely. Um, let me see, uh, Tim Graham, I heard that Udio is going to export as stems, looking forward to that from my home studio. Um, yes, that's also what I heard in that same video, actually, at the end of that video, he mentions uh, two things which are really great for when you have a home studio. Um, one is um, the uh, stem exporting, which is definitely, um, yeah, uh, much better uh, than, for example, Suno. What I currently do, if I want to have a clearer picture of what all the various instruments are doing, I kind of separate them via uh, spectral layers, which I also have a separate video about, but um, yeah, you can check that out at some other time. And that kind of works, but not, yeah, it's definitely not 100%, not even 50%, but you kind of get a bit of separation, but especially if Udio can do that for you and cleanly separate and generate stems. Uh, yeah, that's great. Then uh, you could, for example, uh, generate MIDI uh, from those stems and have it replaced by a real instrument or, or, a, uh, or some kind of virtual instrument that, uh, uh, which is much better in quality. That would be a really great, uh, great update. Um, the other thing which I heard that they have on their roadmap is the fact that you can upload a reference track so you can, for example, say here is a track and I want a song or music generated, which is very similar. Uh, obviously, they're uh, going to be careful not to um, generate copyrighted music for you uh, so, uh, so that you don't get a copyright claim because you copied some famous song. Um, I think they also have some um, uh, rules and uh, logic in place that you cannot uh, use copyrighted lyrics now already which also seems a very sensible thing to do. So um, yeah, all of this sounds great. And especially these features. Uh, yeah, I don't know whether they're also on the Suno AI roadmap, but it's definitely stuff that people are uh, requesting. And um, yeah, it, it, it would be great if they had those. Let me have a look at my desktop. Well, my uh, songs are still generating and I started generating them 11 minutes ago. So Tim, if you're right, um, uh, they should be generated in about four minutes. I was hoping to generate a couple more songs uh, tonight, but it doesn't look like that will be happening very quickly. So let's give it some time. Ah, Tim Grayan mentions that he also separates uh, generated songs with the spectral layers. Yeah, that's uh, it's, 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 it's one of the best stem separations at the moment, I think, especially the latest version. So uh, I really like it. Um, and it, uh, I, I guess that's about the best that you can do uh, now. I'm really wondering if Udio uh, uh, make this, whether they also will use that kind of technology or whether they have, um, yeah, because they generate the songs, whether they have some more uh, internals that they can use to more cleanly separate the stems than, for example, one of these tools does now, if you just have the stereo track would be really interesting to see how they implement that and whether the quality is much better. I do hope that the quality is much better. Otherwise, I may as well just do it with spectral layers. Um, maybe Udio comes from Word Studio. Um, not sure what that is. Uh, let me actually uh, Google that uh, then, uh, because I'm not sure what Word Studio is. Let me see what happens. Okay, custom AI tools, templates, and prompts. Getting fresh and original content from AI isn't easy. Word Studio offers a collection of powerful and user-friendly AI tools that help you get outstanding creative results without wrestling with prompts and chatbots. Okay, they have a lot of different tools 
that you can use for use for AI. Wow, they have they have quite a lot. Yeah, it's really a booming industry at the at the moment. And obviously, everybody is afraid of uh, will it replace me in my well job, hobby, whatever kind of activity you engage in right now. How much can AI take over? Yeah, for me, I'll, I try to mainly focus on um, at the moment. In which way can it help me? How can it? How can I benefit from it? Um, how can it support me? Because that's actually what it's supposed to do. Um, um, support us in our endeavors, whatever we're doing. Uh, it could be a job, could be um, a hobby, could be a, yeah, a creative activity. Uh, I'm sure um, we cannot imagine at the moment yet what is going to be there in, for example, five years or even one year. Um, there will be a lot of developments. Jay Streibling is saying it could also come from audio with the A. And you're talking about, okay, you're probably talking about something which I said like um, 20 seconds ago, but uh, which I can't remember, of course. But uh, okay, let's see how the generation is going at the moment. Still busy. What happens if I refresh? Will I still have my generations? Okay, I can go back to my creations. Okay, well, maybe if we're still waiting for those, let's actually try the um, two songs I generated earlier. Let me see if I can somehow see the lyrics of that view track. Yeah, I actually gave it the same prompt as that I'm trying out now. So, so make a song like the 1975. And what it then told me, well, you can probably still see it. If I go back to my creations, uh, it says, uh, because I used the 1975 as an artist, uh, it told me we do not generate artist likeness without permission. We have replaced 1975 in this track with male vocalist, art, pop, pop, what else? Synth pop, ambient pop, pop rock. So basically what they're doing is they are, if you specify an artist, then they are replacing that artist name with tags, uh, which sort of indicate the style of music of that artist. And uh, I think what they also don't do is uh, they do not generate a voice like the artist, because then that could also bring them into trouble, of course. So um, I think that's, that's the two things I heard about. And if we now check out this track, again, I can go to a view track where you can see the part of the lyrics that it generated. Let's listen to it. You know you can't hide it. We've been dancing through the night. The rhythm took us higher. You've got that fire in your eyes. In your eyes. Lost in the moment, I feel so alive. Was it a whisper that made us take flight? Yeah, I have to say I was quite impressed by this example because it, it does go in the direction of the 1975, even just from those tags. So I'm kind of wondering um, whether uh, they say that they are replacing the artist by the tags, but they somehow still remember what the artist is and then still generate something uh, like, the, like the artist you specified. Um, because I've tried the same thing on Suno. On Suno AI, what I would do if I would, uh, for example, uh, say like, write, write me a song like, du like Dua Lipa, um, then uh, Suno AI would complain and say, sorry, we, we write original music, you can't specify an artist. So what I would then do is go to ChatGPT, tell ChatGPT, Chat hey, give me, give me an AI prompt to generate a, a song like Dua Lipa, on Suno AI without using the name Dua Lipa, and then it would also specify, um, yeah, uh, uh, 
yeah, tags for um, uh, a Dua Lipa song. And, and then I would copy that into Suno AI, into the styles uh, box, and it would generate a song like that. But it wouldn't be as close as I heard from this one for the 1975 style. And it's also, yeah, it's a bit of a hassle, right? So it's very nice that Udio uh, has uh, that as part of their user interface. So you can actually type in an artist and then it will replace it with tags, but still generate a song like that artist. Although the second song that I generated, if we listen to that, that's this one. Uh, actually, it also said artist replaced there, although that tag is now gone from this listing, but Let's just go here, view tracks. And it seems that it only generated chorus here. Let's listen to that one. Song is not ready yet. Please try again soon. Okay, this is definitely a, a beta problem because... Yeah, over here I can uh, play the song, but just not down here. We're dancing through the neon rain yeah it's funny because over here uh it definitely replaced the uh um, the artist name with tags, but over here it said male vocalist, female vocalist, indie rock. So these tags are slightly different. Um, and what you're hearing also, this definitely is less um, reminiscent of the 1975. Uh, if, if only for the female vocalist that, uh, that it's using. But I did give it the exact same prompt. These were actually the two generations from that one prompt that I gave it. So uh, yeah, here, create a song in the style of 1975. So interesting that it uh, comes up with uh, one which to me is very much like the 1975 and this, this one is definitely less. Let's see what you guys are saying. Udio is also the ancient Greek god of plagiarism. Okay, that's funny. I, I didn't know that, uh, Jay Stribling. That's... Uh, I guess, I guess it's a good name. It's kind of a funny name. It's kind of a, a wink towards uh, what they're doing. Because, they are, well, it's not plagiarism, of course, but they have trained their servers on something, which is probably, um, yeah, the, the whole collection of songs or at least a subset of that uh, that's, uh, that we know in all those styles. So it's kind of funny that uh, they refer to plagiarism. Uh, okay, um, Tim? Udo just posted in the Discord that the servers are getting mannered hard right now, but they are working on adding capacity. Okay, well that's uh, that's great to know. You're following it closely, Tim. Great. That's uh, I'm not sure that they will um, uh, they will be able to add capacity within the the time that they have for this stream, but we'll uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, and Jay Stribling said it, it's important to train servers in politeness. Yes. I guess that is true. So let's have a look. Okay, so, well, at least what I'm getting now is that you're seeing, if I switch back to the, back to the desktop, you can see it as well. You see now that for those um, songs that I was generating, that's 20 minutes ago, so that's quite long. Um, they're saying we're replacing the 1975 with male vocalist, art pop, pop, synth pop, ambient pop, pop rock. I think those were the same tags that uh, it replaced it. Uh, it replaced the 1975 with before. You can see on both songs that I'm generating, artist replaced. It has come up with a title by now. So that's also interesting. And um, what is this? Okay, you can provide feedback on the songs. I guess that's why they have a beta, so that they can learn some good quality of the tracks. What are some bad quality of the tracks? How would you rate the track from one to 10? Well, I haven't heard it yet, but I guess I could also do that on these songs. And then they can sort of know how well some of their generations were received uh, by their users. Still um, no results yet though. 
So let's maybe check out some of the other features in the user interface. Um, yeah, I saw one interesting thing, which is um, this extent functionality, for example. So over here, um, this is supposed to extend this song. Suppose I'll, uh, we like this song and we want to extend it, then you can actually extend it in various ways. You can say, well, please add an intro to that song, add a section before what you generated already, add a section after what you generated already, and when you're at the very end of the song and want to finish it, you can say, add an outro. Um, the lyrics, um, you can uh, have it auto-generated, but again, you can also just write your own custom lyrics. You can say no lyrics. And uh, yeah, I think we would go for auto-generated because that's also the way we started. But I really like the fact that um, yeah, you can add these sections to the song in a way that um, yeah, you can be very much more specific than with Suno AI. I think with Suno AI at the moment, you can um, um, specify like, please continue my song from this and this moment on. So you can specify a certain time code to Suno, and then it will be able to continue it from that moment on. Um, you can then also provide lyrics with those tags in there, like chorus, verse, and stuff like that. It would be really nice if over here, um, it, you would not be able to just say, add section, but maybe also add chorus or something like that, without having to generate the lyrics. Although maybe it's also possible to do this actually. So if you say, for example, uh, so because right now at the song that I was looking at, can I get back to that? Yes. We were looking at this song, right? View track. Um, and this seems to be a verse followed by, well, a chorus or half a chorus. Not sure exactly whether this is a full chorus, but um, suppose we want to follow it with a verse then okay my generation is ready we're going to listen in a minute but i was talking about this um, extend possibility over here so suppose i wanted to add a section after the chorus now how can i make sure that it's chorus or a verse without specifying the lyrics as well i guess over here i could do chorus but i would uh, yeah i wonder whether it would actually generate those chorus lyrics by itself or whether I really have to specify it to make sure that I then have a chorus um, with um, with the lyrics, with certain lyrics. So what I mean, I would like to have it auto-generate a chorus for me. How do I do that? Not sure, but definitely these sections, it's great when you compare this to, uh, to Suno that you have this control, where Suno doesn't provide this yet. But now let's have a listen to the songs I just generated. One is called Artist of Summer, and the second one is Warmed in High Tea. Let's see if we view this track. What did it do? It, I guess this is for, it has generated one line here, then a verse of four lines and a chorus of one line. Well, let's, let's listen to it. We're dancing through the neon rain Okay, I already see what's happening. Um, I play, I clicked on play down here, but that's still the previous song. So I need to click over here to play this song. Okay, so what do you guys think of that one? Uh, for me, the first thing I notice is that it gets a bit confusing with the lyrics. Um, first, so first line of the lyrics does not seem to belong to anything. Then it generates a verse and then it gen generates a chorus of one line. Uh, obviously it's still in beta, it's free, so I can't really complain. Uh, they're still in, in, in the test phase. I have not paid anything. 
Um, but uh, yeah, th that's kind of what I notice here now for this generation. Maybe it's also because the servers are really busy at this moment. Maybe it also affects the quality of the results. But that seems to be a bit weird here. Um, yeah, that's the first thing I noticed. The second thing I noticed is that again, the style and especially the vocal style is for me very much like what I expected when I asked for a 1975 song. Um, so that's quite, um, I think that's probably slightly better as what I'm used to from um, Suno AI. So I do like that. The, it's just that the confusing output is a bit, um, well, it's a beta, right? So let's see what the other song is about. Or maybe, okay, Tim, uh, yeah. Over here you mentioned uh, that their servers were getting mannered, but I guess you meant hammered. Yes, of course. Okay, and you're on your end you're getting backend processing error now. Well, um, it has just finished my part, so uh, I'm glad about that. But yeah, I, I guess everybody's now trying this, uh, this new tool, so uh, I guess it's to be expected until uh, they increase their, uh, their capacity. Uh, in their uh, cloud environment. I don't know, Google Cloud, Amazon, who knows. Let's get back to the other song here because we just listened to, uh, to that first one. The second one also has their artist replaced. We have replaced the 1975 this track with male vocalist, electronic art, pop rock, etc. Um, let's, yeah, I do like the fact in Suno that on the right side, when you uh, look at the song, let's just uh, quickly compare that. If I go to um, my library here with songs, if I select the song here um, to play, then this is my play control. And I like the fact that I, I immediately see the lyrics here on the right side. I'm not yet seeing an ability to do that over here. Yeah, no, that's so to see the lyrics at the same time as the track is playing, I guess I have to go to view track and then play the track from here. That's the one we just listened to, or did it generate this one? Sudden, sudden, sudden on the bright side. I said, sudden, 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 got the vibe right. Sudden, sudden, sudden in the high tide. I said, sudden, 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 it's the good life. Yeah, and that's the way the warmth just feels. Okay, that's actually, I think that's a bit less confusing. Maybe also because there are no tags in here, which are verses and choruses. Um, it's on the short side, so it doesn't really have a good distinction between verse and chorus. Um, but as for the style, yeah, as for the style, I uh, it, it, it's really A-OK -okay for me again. Um, this is really what I expected when I asked it to generate a 1975 uh, style song the vocal as well as the music um, I guess uh, goes into the direction at least of the 1975 uh, much more so than than when I tried to do this on Suno um, and uh, it's just the, the lyrics generation and the song structure is not quite there yet I feel um, okay Valley uh, Vanelli is ask Valley Vanel is ask it to create a hit banger. Okay, I can see what happens, but it seems it is very busy. But let me try to uh, create. A, I'm not sure uh, what you consider a hit banger, but let's actually try this in Dua Lipa style, maybe. Those are usually hits and bangers, right? Um, Okay, I'm now in the extend option, which is not what I wanted to do. How can I go back to create here? Because right now it seems that if I, I'm discovering this right, you, uh, right with you here, guys. 
I would like to just create a new song. Create new over here. Ah, this, this works. Okay. Create a hit banger in the style of Dua Lipa. Now I guess that it, it will again replace Dua Lipa with, um, with some tags because it's an artist name. So I will let it generate the tags. I will not choose the tags here myself. Uh, or maybe, maybe this time, no, I'm gonna let it generate the tags. Create. Creating your tracks, amazing music is seconds away. Well, it definitely wasn't seconds the last time uh, around. Two to 600 daily priority generations, two of 600 monthly generations, okay. Error generating track, yes. I think that's the same thing as what you uh, said you got, uh, Tim. I guess the fun, let me see what happens if I retry. Backend processing error. Okay, now it's gener it's trying to generate four. Okay, artist replaced. So it has actually replaced Dua Lipa on that first one. But it's bailing out again with backend processing error, I'm afraid. But I still have two more running with artist replaced. No. It's it's definitely uh, it's definitely too busy at the moment, which is unfortunate. But uh, I guess that's the, uh, that's what you can expect with uh, with tools like this at this moment. And it's in beta, so they are just testing it. Um, well, Tim, since you've had some experience with this already, so any. Uh, any links to songs that you can share in the chat, maybe, that we can have a listen to one of those, maybe, if you really liked uh, some that you generated, or have you just been playing it, uh, playing with it uh, for maybe an hour or a few hours like uh, like I did prior to this, uh, this live stream. Dragon Slayer mentions, I've been asking it for Katamari Heavy Metal, all bangers, okay? And Dragon Slayer. How did that turn out? Did you get something that you liked? Or uh, if you have, uh, because I think you can actually, let me check out that. If I go to one of the tracks that did succeed, um, publish is, okay, publish is, I guess that is available to everybody. Um, let me unpublish it, but I think you should also be able to share it. Right, share. Shadow of Summer. I think if I put this link in the chat, you guys should be able to play this song. And I can even test it myself, I guess. If I just... Yeah, it just... Yeah, yeah, okay, it just opens the view. But for me, it opens it in my, uh, in my own console where I'm logged in. But I imagine you get the same view except that you are not logged in as me, I would hope. And um, you can play this song. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, it seems that the actual generation, um, well, we've had the generations for today that were possible, I guess, but um, the fun is over with regarding to generating song from Udio. I'm sure they will upgrade their capacity quickly so that uh, more people can try it out. And um, it probably will not happen during this chat, but I imagine that uh, tomorrow or, uh, or, or maybe even quicker, um, you will be able to generate songs again. I would suggest that you really try to get an account if you're into this stuff. I would definitely try to get an account for this um, because it's, it's, it's really interesting and um, at the moment it's free. I don't know how long it will be in beta. It may be a couple of weeks. Um, um, I would expect it to be in beta for, I don't know, maximum a month or so uh, because I'm sure they would like to uh, make some money um, with all of this technology because it's, uh, it's probably 
costing them quite an investment to uh, get this started and uh, rolled out, especially now that they're getting so many requests uh, and the server capacity need, needs to be upgraded. So it's probably quite an investment. But then again, when you're early um, with something, um, I guess, um, and you're one of the first ones and it takes off, yeah, it can be really profitable as well. Um, yeah, guys, so I don't know if any of you guys have any examples that you generated before. I think we already basically listened to my songs over here which were, uh, well, it's definitely in beta. I, I like the uh, the vocal especially. Uh, I think it has more character than I'm used to from Suno. Um, I'm not sure how many variation uh, there is in all those vocals uh, and whether you always get a new vocal or whether it has uh, um, a couple of favorite ones or something like that. I'm not sure exactly. Um, where they're getting their vocal from and whether you will be getting the same vocalist as I'm getting. Um, I hope it's definitely related to the tags and the music style that we specify. Um, but I do feel that uh, two of those songs, they kind of have a similar vocalist at least. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm wondering about that. Um, apart from that, let me see. I cannot really try out too much uh, anymore. Uh, well, we can give it another go. See uh, how much they are on the ball and uh, maybe uh, adding new servers already, which is quite easy and quick to do in the, one of those cloud environments. So let's see. Let me just try the same prompt again, create. Last time it did take 20 minutes for it to generate. Yeah, okay, Dragon Slayer. You also have the experience now, right now, that you cannot generate anything anymore, which, which is too bad but i guess it's it's sort of to be expected with the uh, for me as well i now get a back-end processing error as well so um yeah so if you like this stuff um like i already said uh, many times uh, make sure to get an account early now that it's still free and uh, and test it once they have up their server capacity and everything is working again um I guess uh, that's about it for this stream. Uh, I, I really cannot show you anything more than what I already did because currently um, it's not possible to generate those songs anymore, probably due to server capacity problems. I'm not on their Discord, so I can't really uh, check what they're saying at this moment. But I think Tim checked that uh, yeah they were reporting that their servers were getting hammered. So it's um, it's already a very popular song in their first. Uh, it's a, a very popular site in their uh, on their day of uh, release which I guess is great for them, but it would be nice uh, if it was still working. Um, thanks for being here though. Extend is still working, uh, Greg Swanson says. Okay, let me shortly try that then otherwise. Let me go back to the desktop. So let's see, we had like, um, I think this one. Let me see which song we had here. Yeah, this was kind of the, um, the confusing one with uh, one line, then a verse of four lines, and then a chorus of one line. Let's maybe try to add a verse here. Um, you're welcome, Pinto. Um, if you're leaving, uh, well, see you again on the next stream, maybe. Um, let me try to extend this. Let me go to my creations, shadow of summer, extend. And let me say that we want to add a section after. And let's let, let them just auto generate it, see what happens. Okay, I still get uh, two variations again, it seems. I don't know how long this will be. Let's give it some time. That is kind of funny though, that uh, extend is still working and the original creation is not working, if that's true. then. Uh, Maybe one, uh, 
well for me uh, unfortunately i'm getting uh, error generating track as well okay i click retry so now it's going to retry the same one again but um yeah let's not uh artist replaced at least it is doing something again Yeah, maybe I'll just uh, I'll just give this a try again when um, when the servers are working again and create a video about it. Uh, thanks for being here, uh, everybody. I mean, uh, if you like stuff like this, um, check out. Uh, I have a playlist uh, on AI music generation uh, with, uh, for example, that uh, Suno AI video and some other AI tools that I've used. Um, I'm a user of Cubase myself, so I have a lot of Cubase videos. And I also have uh, some videos about uh, classic mixing ticks, tricks uh, and tips. I mean, and um, if you like that, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Um, like I always say in my videos. Um, so, that, and if you ring the little bell icon, you also get notified when I publish a video. I will probably uh, make a video about, um, about uh, audio uh, as well uh, when it's working again and uh, let's uh, let's uh, hope that that's soon um, Greg Swanson mentions extend has been fast for me um, okay I see that it actually just extended one song let's have a quick look at that then <laughs> uh, uh, and then I'm going to say goodbye for real but let's have a quick look at that so it has um, now generated two new songs but it, it has generated two extensions which is kind of funny that they don't seem to be really longer than the original so let's see yeah i also don't think they are i do not see these as extensions but we can have a listen because the original lyrics are not there thought i'd wake to clouds but hello sun visions of the warmth the summer's begun grasping all the joy the laughter we find cause we're drenched in the light and it's brilliantly divine now i'm fully alive and the moments are right Okay, well, as for sound quality, I think that was the best so far that I heard from Udio. So uh, um, it was worth the wait, um, but at the same time, it's not an extension of the song like I requested. But let's have a quick listen to the second one. Um, that was this one. Brilliantly divine. No, I guess I played that already. I do think the play button is... Oh yeah, I need to click here. And then I click. Sunkist use then. Yes, that's a different one. You hand me a drink, sun's glowing your hair, warm haze whispers, we're just swaying, swaying in the sky. A canvas hues. On our skin The sunlight tattoos Okay, again, the sound quality of this is uh, very much okay. Um, I hadn't checked this yet, but I guess you can download audio as well as video. Um, over here you can share to social media. And this button, ah, you can add it to a playlist. That's also something that was added to Suno uh, AI in the last month. Playlists. Yeah, so for now, let's uh, let's end the stream for real. Thanks for being here. Um, go check out um, Udio uh, when it works again. Uh, check out the channel if you like videos uh, like this about this subject matter and audio engineering in general and Cubase specifically, for example. And uh, see you next time. Thanks for being here. Have a good night, evening whatever time it is at yours.